Councilwoman Yvette Simpson is calling on parents, teachers, coaches, and other community leaders to step forward in the name of safety. She is here to tell us, uh, with Iris Rowley, to tell us what she wants to see to keep kids safe at local events and festivals like the Taste of Cincinnati. And uh, Iris Rowley is a local business owner. Great to see you ladies this morning. morning. Um, Yvette, what prompted, what prompted this? Well, um, actually, we got a call uh, from one of our officers really wanting some help uh, because of what happened on Saturday night what at the event. What happened Saturday night? There was a shooting uh, on the square. Uh, we believe a young person was involved. Uh, the aftermath of that was uh, a bunch of young people exiting the event. Many fights broke out, and that was the part that I witnessed on Saturday night was just kind of kids come exiting the event really fast in groups, and then little fights breaking out. I was trying to dispatch officers to the scene, trying to make sure that kids were moving along, making sure kids made it home safe. Uh, and then I got the call the next day from Iris saying that our officers really wanted help at the event, that they felt like they needed community members to come and make sure kids were safe, that they didn't feel like they could do it on their own. Now, there are two different things going on. One is uh, your proposal on how to, uh, what you think can help with uh, like this, but also the fact that you went down there last night. Yes. Uh, what, was, what happened last night? So last night we engaged a group of community members, uh, lots of people from all walks of life came down and gave up their day. Um, we, we were called the green shirts or the green <laughs> yeah. people uh, to go and engage young people at the event to make sure they knew that we were there uh, for them to be safe uh, and to assist law enforcement in making sure that kids made it home, make sure that kids were positively engaged at the event and just to be more eyes and ears. Well, this isn't the first time that we've heard uh, some kind of negative reports coming out, not about the taste of Cincinnati, but because there are large groups of people all around downtown Cincinnati yes. during things like Oktoberfest and taste of Cincinnati. Iris, as a business owner, what are your concerns with, with large gatherings like this, and what do you think the community can do? Well, what I think the community can do is to really assist um, in a way that uh, allows us to include young folk. As a business owner, that's what I do in my business. We have young folk in our, in our business all the time. But more than that, it's just the collaborative agreement gives us the opportunity to talk with police, city leaders, and Yvette responded immediately saying, this is what happened on Saturday night, let's do this. Um, this evening, yesterday evening, to make sure that the children, one, enjoy themselves, and two, feel inclusive, and then three, make it home safely. And so and that's what we did. We have the opportunity right here to get it done. Um, community people jumped right in. There was no hesitation, and last night there were no headlines of anything bad going on. And, and that you, you want to see this uh, sort of baked into the event, right? Yes, yeah, so two years ago, to take it back, uh, I intervened a, at a fight on the square between two young men who were about to fight and the kids began to gather. And I noticed that this just seemed like a trend that wasn't going to reverse. That mm. You had a bunch of kids who weren't engaged on the square. They wanted to be there, but they weren't involved. Uh, and so I approached the chamber about doing a team pavilion. Uh, we agreed to do the entire thing. We had a whole program for all three days, volunteers that would staff that that event. Yeah. Uh, we had sponsors that would make sure the kids were fed, right. make sure they had something to eat. And we got a lot of excuses about why it wasn't going to work. Uh, leadership has changed uh, at, the, um, at the chamber. The individual who we were engaged with doesn't work there anymore. And my hope is that because clearly what we predicted has happened. It's not getting better. In fact, it's getting worse uh, that we will have a meaningful conversation and make this happen for next year. So when will you be reaching out to talk to some folks about that? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you know, we ask, you know, it's their event. Right. I'm the city. It's their event. Um, I'm not asking anymore. Okay. Uh, this is going to happen. Uh, the city supplies the streets. I think that we've also got a new attitude at the chamber. Yeah. Uh, this should be an inclusive event. Mm. And I suspect, we were joking earlier, that the team pavilion will be the most popular mm -hmm. part of the entire event. Well, that that all surprising. people will want to come yeah, yeah, would, and engage. But where's happening? Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Iris Rowley, Yvette Simpson, thank you both Thanks, for coming to join us this morning. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back with more 